And at 125, a slight surprise, Thomas Gilman out of Scott Catholic County. He's from Council Bluffs, Iowa, but a four-time champion from Nebraska at Scott Catholic High School, just a tremendous uh, powerhouse in Nebraska. And there's Nico Megalutis. He starts it out for the Nittany Lions. Uh, he's been doing that since his freshman year, twice the NCAA runner-up. And uh, I'll tell you what, the, um, the tone will be set early here, Jim. Well, I, I tell you what, as far as uh, this, I, I tab this as a real important match here for Iowa to get into it. I mean, we're kind of funny to say, but uh, Clark was ranked number four in the country, and uh, Megalutis, of course, number three, the two-time NCAA runner-up. And uh, of course, with the rankings, are you certainly favored Megalutis with this experience, but uh, this is a, a, a change. I, you, know, you hope that uh, Clark isn't hurt, but uh, Gilman, a guy who's had success at the high school level, Coach Brand switching it up here with the uh, Big, uh, big move in this match, big uh, lineup change. Mega Lutis has uh, had a tremendous career so far. And he knows how to score. He gets out and gets after it. He really does, and right now he's getting pushed around by a nice underhook by Gilman. But, uh, you know, Coach Brands, see a good look at him here. Maybe he thought this is might have been a better style match up there. And you can Watch see that uh, Gilman is holding position and marching forward here. Likes to work, I think, a little bit off that underhook. Megalutis will go off of the both of the elbow ties. He likes to get low on his shot. Really tough physical wrestler and excellent in the top position. So if this, this match goes on, you're going to see that uh, Megalutis does have an advantage here if it no scoring in the first period. So if Gilman really has to get after it here to try to, to uh, maybe perhaps not even go down. Gilman, who we talked about from Council Bluffs, Iowa but a four-time Nebraska state champion at Scott Catholic High School. And of course, Mega Lutis, a Pennsylvania native, the first five in the lineup for the Nittany Lions, homegrown. Pretty good job of hand fighting there by Gilman. Good look at Cale Sanderson, 159-0 as a wrestler at Iowa State, two years there as the head coach, and now in his fifth year at Penn State, he's led them to the last three NCAA titles. The three before that, Tom Brands and the Iowa Hawkeyes. The last six NCAA titles have been won by these two teams. Again, nice work so far by Gilman. He's just staying in that, that, that uh, center area there and he's done a nice job of uh, blocking off. And this is the thing that when you're, the guy that's higher ranked, like Mega Lutus is in this situation, you don't want to. You want to jump on a guy right away, and, and uh, Mega Lewis hasn't shown the ability to get through that head hands defense, and even that underhook reach didn't work very well to, to uh, take any territory. So, this has been a good period so far for Gilman and the Hawks. Thomas Gilman stepping in the lineup. And you Corey can Clark, the number four ranked 125 pounder, not in there. Coach Brands deciding to go with Gilman up against the two-time NCAA runner-up, Nico Megalutis. Megalutis, he's not even looking for the shot right now. You can see his vision. He's looking up into the eyes of Gilman. And your very knowledgeable Hawkeye fans, just like the Penn State fans when it's at Rec Hall, understanding what you were talking about, Jim, a good period for Gilman. Good period for Gilman, and see that Megalutis You'd favor him because he's in the top position here. He'd be, he'd be able to get the riding time against the freshman, but that was an excellent period. Didn't retreat at all. and actually pushed Megalutis off the mat a couple times. So good, quick, quick escape. escape. Quick escape there. One point for Nico Megalutis. He's out front 1-0 as we begin the second period. A little bit better job by Megalutis. You can tell how his vision has changed now. He's looking down towards the legs and looking to attack a little bit more, not working off the underhook. You can hear Coach Sanderson talking about faking and pulling here, fake and pull. They wanted to go ahead and fake down low and then get the opponent to react and then pull him off balance. But nice work by Gilman, just staying right there in the center of the mat. And there's no penetration at all on those Megalutis shots. Megalutis coming off a very impressive performance against Ohio State. Now he's to a leg. 
He's stepping up in good position. Now he can pop up a little bit, roll through. Now they're going to get face to shoelace. And take a look at that red. Real quick stalemate. Very impressive by Gilman getting to the leg number one, but also getting to his feet. And he looks pretty fresh, Tim. Well, he's going to have to be because it's going to be very interesting as we get later into the match because this is a veteran, Nico Megalutis. He a knows great, how to do it in the pressure. Great counter shot, Tim. He's got to be able to scoop the leg. Now he'll get to the far ankle right now. He's looking for the far ankle. He's actually come up to the hip, set him back. There's the two, two points from Megalutis, and you, you talked about it. He, a great shot right back in after the danger that Gilman put him in. And also finishing the period in the top position. This is going to be an indicator what the third period will be like. Already amassing 14 seconds worth of riding time. Yeah, that's one of those situations as the as the, the favorite in this match. You get that takedown, it's like a exhale, sigh, relax, you know. And he's done a good job over his career, Nico Megalutis as when the pressure mounts late in the match, he's come on. Well, he's won some big matches to get to the NCAA Finals a couple times, but this is, again, like Shane says, this is a different environment here. He's hanging back on the ankle. Gilman doing a pretty good job of moving out forward. Not likely to get a stall call here. You switch into that ankle ride, that's like putting a saddle on yourself. Go to the third period, the score, 3-0 in favor of... Penn State's Mega Lutus. Well, you saw the. Uh, we're going to go ahead with your Mega Lutus Penn State Lion Corner. Your warning. Go ahead, Mega Lutus, to stay in the top position. That was an excellent ride out. You notice how he drops to the ankle, then comes back to the uh, attacks the left arm. And again, like a lot of freshmen, they have a difficult time in the bottom position. Look pretty salty in the, on his feet, but uh, this is where he will be tested. Riding time being built up by Megalutis. He's close to the minute that would give him an extra point. And you notice the crowd picked up their intensity as well. They know it recognized it already to 101 of riding time and recognize the importance of getting out quickly here, getting on your feet. Kale Sanderson looking for the tilts. It's good coaching on his part. Change the focus on the riding and go for the tilt. There's the Intermat ranking, our partner. Intermat, Big Ten Network, partnering for Big Ten Network Wrestling, and there's your Intermat rankings. Nice changeover attempt there. He's got to st stiffen up his torso a little bit, get that leg back, but Megalutis sucking that leg in. A lot of time being wasted. Now he goes to below the knee. Megalutis has won a lot of tough matches and tight matches. Nice there's job of kicking out. One escape, but not before Megalutis has a minute and a half of riding time with less than a minute left. Out in front, three to one, but with that riding time, it's effectively four to one. So what does he need? He needs two takedowns and a ride out. Be able to cut that score. And if you're Megalutis, you hold good position. And this is how he's been able to hold leads in the NCAAs. And I think what Coach Sanderson would like to see right now is some offense where he'd be going for you know, to take advantage of some of these mistakes that Gilman will make coming after him. So right there, he's settling for a neutral position. Now he's coming into his shot. Long reach, almost all the way around into a bear hug. Short time. Holding position, that's good work here by Megalutis. Holding position, and it really isn't a shot. There's a dive. Kind of a desperation dive. And Megalutis is going to hold on and get the win. Four to one with riding time. Three points on the board for Penn State. And they go out in front with the winner, Nico Megalutis. Two-time All-American getting the Nittany Lions off to the start they were looking for and always do from him.